things are really starting to ramp up as well little beans as you guys can see over on Rulamon's Wickery Cliffs the old realm has now been ported into a new one and so has Blackwood Manor as you can see there's a new Blackwood Manor in Wickery Cliffs and the previous ones are now called Old Blackwood Manor and Old Wickery Cliffs now as you guys know right before the new school came out they changed a bunch of the realms from the old ones to the new ones because of a weird glitch that Roblox had that wouldn't allow them to make private realms public again so i'm wondering if the same thing has happened because as you can see over here there's the old bathing quarters the old locker courtyard old radio classroom old enchantress all the old realms for campus three that they ported into the new ones so there's a very good chance you guys that these new ones here are of course the new ones they're going to release in addition everyone is talking about a bunch of leaks right now you guys which i'm not going to share so i'm not going to share leaks obviously that have been gained without the developer's permission but Things do look like they're getting exciting, Little Beans, and I think you guys are definitely going to want to stick around today because I think the update could well come out today, you guys. Honestly, I think the update's going to be out any moment now, personally. We're going to just have to wait maybe a few more hours to find out some more information, but... I really, really, really do think it could be coming out any time now. I don't know if you saw Haley's video talking about the fact that it might come out any moment now, but at the time I was like, I don't know, I don't know if it's gonna be certain around any moment now, but I'm starting to feel much more confident now. Hello wonderful little beans, my name is Bee and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started with today's video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and click that bell. And of course you stack a B when buying Robux or Premium. As you guys probably have already heard, there's a lot of stuff going on in the community at the moment. There are lots of different updates that are going on and various things that have been happening. But nothing more exciting than the new updates that people have noticed over on Rollamons. And one particular leak that everyone in the community is talking about that I don't really want to bring attention to too much because i'm not going to show it to you guys but i will explain it to you because it is very exciting and probably indicates the release of the update potentially coming this weekend by the end of tonight if you guys head on over to the rolling months page when i'm recording this it's actually 8 a.m in the uk we just finished our charity stream and i haven't gone to bed yet but as you can see the game updated 13 minutes ago if you head on into the places you can see that when you look down them various places were updated the radio classroom a day ago castle dormitory seven hours ago if you you scroll down various realms have been updating but the one everybody is most obviously interested in is wickery cliffs which was updated last seven hours ago so in other words you guys whatever is going on in there presumably is going to be the new updates now for those who are unaware people did apparently find a leak of the brand new player icon or game icon of the player that is drawn by exchoker every single seasonal update to use as the game's image now i'm not going to show you the leak you guys because i don't like to spoil developers work particularly when it's obviously not intentionally shared they didn't share it themselves it was leaked by someone else which i think is unfortunate but the fact that the player icon came out probably does indicate that that is one of the final things to do i imagine you guys they don't upload the decals and player icons until all of the other stuff inside the game update is already finished and ready to go that would mean they're getting ready to apply the icon as soon as the update launches now naturally i can imagine you guys will be wondering what that really means and it probably means that barbie has actually finished testing testing most of the stuff and finished wrapping up the bits and bobs that she needed to do in order to then prepare the decals and various things like that that will be on the descriptions and on the game page and in the images now obviously if that is the case you guys i think it's highly likely we may well get the update sunday night or tonight or monday night at the latest i really do think you guys that it must be almost finished if they are now working on those final touches like decals and art pieces because there's no way they will be working on them if they weren't already done with the main major stuff so obviously you guys if the update is just around the corner and likely to be coming out maybe today or maybe tomorrow then there are a few things that i think you guys need to get ready to do naturally it is the time that you should be preparing yourself i know a lot of people had already prepared themselves before october but since obviously the update didn't come out a lot of people have given up and started doing trades again and started just playing the game again so i imagine some of you probably need to do some preparing again you guys now with the length of time this update has taken i'm gonna go ahead and assume there's probably quite a bit of content in it now that could
could well include a new set and if it does you are definitely gonna need the diamonds to buy it you guys now i would expect it to be upwards of anywhere from 150 to 200 000 diamonds since that's how much it cost in previous updates for the sets with the most expensive set being 184 diamonds for the december's dream last year so i definitely suggest you guys focus really hard on making sure you have as much as possible diamonds wise the december's dream is the year before but it did come out back out last year i just realized it's actually been a year since we got our last new set you guys the steampunk and whimsy witch were the last sets we got and that was over a year ago now you guys can you believe it so little beans also i think it's really important that all of you focus really hard on making sure that you are prepared for the maze the maze is always one of the most stressful things but if you want to do some practicing you could go do some of the vault maze inside of the vents of course over in the bathing quarters so just use it for practice or google some maze games or search for them on roblox using maze games to help you learn other mazes does help but the royal high maze as you guys know is always very very difficult so nothing will fully prepare you for the experience that's to come so i definitely suggest that you just mentally prepare yourself for the nightmare then of course get ready you guys in advance if you haven't already you can watch some tutorials on youtube from last year on how to candy grind effectively now we do know the developers already said that new candy grinding methods will be added so you can only pre-plan your candy grinding based on methods from the previous years but they will be back so it's still a good idea to plan this in place so you can make sure you can get everything you want particularly if there's new items and new furniture that we know are coming so that all beans i think there's a very good chance the update will be out tonight so obviously i'm going to be streaming shortly with you guys again because i am so excited for all of the stuff that we're going to get to experience little means i really do think that we are finally coming up to our way being over the 15th is bang on the middle of the month so hopefully tonight is the night that we finally get the royal Halloween update with wickery cliffs that we've been waiting for and of course i will be streaming all night and making videos covering everything for you guys i'll be recording while i stream so that way you guys can watch the stream if you want to rather than ending the stream early so don't worry there'll be plenty of content for you to watch and we're going to be doing a ton of the update together so i can't wait to see you there we'll be going live at 3 p.m eastern so make sure you come on by if you haven't already the link is on my channel just go on to my youtube channel and press on the live tab so that all means i'm excited are you excited i hope you are also i just want to let you guys know that i'm so grateful for all of you who came out to support our charity stream yesterday in our 13 hour charity stream for children's hospitals we raised already 400 dollars which is a kickstart for our 24 hour stream coming in december where we hope to raise a total of at least one thousand dollars last year we raised two and a half i believe and the year before i believe we raised two so i'm very 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 excited i hope you guys will come on by and join in and enjoy the content as we go through all of these amazing things for our various charity streams and thank you so much for joining us for the last one i love you all so much i'm so grateful for you and i hope you have a wonderful day i'll see you on stream shortly you guys get excited hopefully it's coming soon and of course don't forget to leave a like subscribe and click that bell if you haven't already and i love you guys lots i'll see you soon goodbye